I recently decided I would rank the James Bond films, and I ended up placing Thunderball at fifth. If you know which James Bond films I have uploaded videos for, you may be aware of my top four, the entire list I will share, worst to best, at the end of this upload. Thunderball saw director Terence Young return after Guy Hamilton had directed the third film in the series, Goldfinger. Whilst Goldfinger is considered very brilliant and possibly the most iconic film in the franchise, I consider it weaker now than the first two, rather brilliant to some degree, pictures. Thunderball, I feel, is closer in quality and tone and mood to the first two films, sans that silly jetpack at the start. I love the Bahamas setting, evoking the best of Dr. No with an even bigger budget, and then the earlier portions of the film with Bond sneaking around, avoiding assassins and trekking saboteurs. It is great stuff. Connery is so comfortable in the role here, almost more comfortable than ever. I have traditionally not cared as much for Thunderball. At one point I may have enjoyed Goldfinger more, but it does feel like trite really now. Thunderball has great photography, lots of indulgent pacing and traditional cool Bond tropes without going overboard much. And even when it does, it is fun, atomic age, goofy Bond. We can live with it here, potentially. The next film we only live twice is, I think, a step in the wrong direction. Majesty's Secret Service is better. Diamonds is way worse. The first two Roger Moore films are possibly some of the better Bond films due to their settings and some action creativity. Though they are both rather flawed. The rest of the Moore set I am less fond of, definitely. Dalton is okay. I don't mind License to Kill. None of Brosnan's really impressed me overly. I did Casino Royale, the other Craig films less so. Spectre had some moments, but not an incredible movie either. Eh, it isn't a series I really obsess over, though I think, at the best of times, a film like Thunderball can get me really hyped about the idea of classic James Bond. Now, enjoy this ranking, if you're so inclined.